and other times I can realize this is not the right client. Definitely. Yeah, I know it might be kind of a stupid question, but I know they say all questions aren't stupid, but like obviously for somebody that's, that's a criminal, like why is it important to have a lawyer or attorney? Yeah, so I would I would just um, modify your question a little bit to say an accused criminal. Accused so, criminal, um, yeah. you know, you're only a, a criminal if you're convicted, right? So, I mean, I think the way I would look at it is everybody ought to have a relationship in some way with a lawyer. Um, now, that's easier said than done. You know, I grew up with a, a mom who became a lawyer, so I had one right in my family. Um, but I think that it, even if a person doesn't know a lawyer, they should at least know to call one. If in, in it can it used to be opening a phone book. Now it yeah. might be going on Instagram, now it might be going on the internet, but you need to start calling around and talking to people because when the police are looking at you mm. or have charged you with a crime, the lawyer is the only thing between you and the prison cell. Um, and sometimes you get what you pay for, sometimes you don't. But I always tell everybody the best way to figure that out is to do your research and talk to multiple people because if you just, and maybe I'm the right fit for a person, maybe I'm not, but I, I tell people who call me, if you're good to go and you want this representation, that's fine. But I encourage people to make phone calls and, and talk to other people. There's a lot of decent lawyers out there of different price points. You know, yeah. when I came out of law school, my prices were rock bottom. You couldn't even yeah. believe it, what they were. And now they might be considered high. Mm -hmm. So you got to really look for what can I afford right. and then try to fit it together from there. Right. That's nice. Yeah, man. Because a lot of people, some people don't have money for a, a lawyer and they're like, man, I'm just set up for a, a public defender. Yes. And there's some really good public defenders. That's the thing. There's some really, it's a, it's a weird world I live in because yeah. there's some private lawyers who are really, really shitty. Uh, yeah. And there's some public defenders who are shitty. There's also some public defenders who are exceptional in private lawyers. So it's like, there's exceptional in both fields. There's shitty in both fields. The only way as a client, you'll figure that out is by taking the time to make the calls who answers your call, who's responsive, who seems to care, who has a track record, and ask questions. I told people, like, it shouldn't just be me talking at the client. Like, they can ask the lawyer, hey, this, what, what do you think I should be doing in this situation? It's a two-way street. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, uh, what, what do you think, like, so far, what do you think is the biggest case that you've been a part of so far? 